That is right guys, I'm gonna be fishing with my top five favorite fall baits. So stick around, you don't wanna miss it. What is up YouTube fam, TJP Fishing Outdoors, coming back with another video. And that is right, so in my last video, or one close to it, I discussed what my favorite baits are. And now it is sunny and not raining. So just like I said, I'm gonna be fishing. And I'm gonna be fishing with them to hopefully catch some fish. Um, I haven't been fishing in a long time. So if you have watched that video, you know what baits I'm getting ready to throw. Kinda, okay, I talked about a lot about, lot of baits. Um, but before I get into anything, I wanna say the verse of the day, which comes from John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. That is an amazing verse. Take that verse throughout your week. Also, I've seen uh, some fish blow up here, top water on the edge here. So I might cast that popper around a little bit, but uh, sorry if you hear like a squealing noise, the wind's going through the eyelets of my hook, or eyelets of my rods. But what I have rigged up is the Ned, uh, Ned rig, the X-Zone uh, finesse craw on a Ned head, a weightless fluke. It is just a Texas rig, no weight on it, a Storm X Pop, I believe, white and chartreuse, and the spinner bait, which is black and blue with a big Colorado blade on it. And I made a little change. I got a lipless crankbait. Now, you might be thinking, Tyler, you said deep diving crankbaits. That's right. Uh, but you can also put that lipless on the bottom. Uh, that one, you can go all different columns of the water with it so that's why i chose it and it's got a tight wobble uh, which is better for fall and winter and there's a lot of fish blowing up so i think what i'm going to do is grab my little bitty popper and make some casts along there if i catch something great if not then you'll if i catch something great and you'll see it and if not then you'll see me at the other pond fishing with my top five favorite baits all righty so we made it to the pond and with the time change it's 356 and the sun sets at 448 or something like that so i got about 40 50 minutes of fishing light here because i was at the other pond didn't catch anything but i'm not seeing a whole lot here i'm gonna first pitch this ned rig around the dock also, it is super quiet now without that fountain, so I don't really have to do a lot of noise cancellation. But, uh, oh, thought we had something, maybe just a rock. And also, you might be wondering how I got here. Well, the obvious answer is my truck, okay? You guys have seen that for years now. Um, but what you don't know is the little secret tip that I use that some people don't and that is upside so i use upside when i fill up at certain locations to get cash back so i'm not paying full price ever on gas it's a great way to save money so if you guys want to save money like i do because i have no money um you can click the link in the description or use the code for first time users they will get 15 cents off their first gallon of their first fill up so always here to save money so thought i'd just throw that in there check out everybody in the description as well um i'm first starting off with moving baits here and if you kind of like that little input of the ad read let me know but my dad came up with that idea um he doesn't want to see me just standing there talking about everything for five minutes if I could incorporate it in my fishing, then uh, then I'd be more productive that way. So if you guys like that, let me know, or I can go back to just standing around talking for five minutes. But here is this crankbait, which I love. I don't even know what brand this is, but it's real shiny looking. I like that chrome and blue back from Bill Lewis. So I found this one. I'm sure it was on sale or something got it but 
Yep. Yep. There we go. There we go. We got one, boys. There we go. Oh, there we go, baby. Look at this little feller. Little feller. He came off. Huh. Well, there we go. I was too busy playing with him. I'm going to count it. One fish and a rock. You've got to be kidding me. I don't know if he missed it or what. That was good. I felt a tick and then nothing. Oh yeah, like that. Come here. Come here. You're a fighter. Good night. You're a fighter. Get up here, please. Let's go. There you go. Little bitty feller. He is not eating. Poor fatty. Poor buddy. I mean, he is a little, but not, not as much as I'd like. I'll show you in the sunlight. Little bitty feller. First fish of the day on the bank, so I won't count that one I lost. So, thank you, Jesus, and thanks for playing. Well, there we go. First fish of the day. They're liking this crankbait. Good night almighty. We got something huge going on over here. Like, I don't know, bass came out of the water. I don't know what in the world's going on. Probably a bunch of bluegill. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go, come here, come up here. Come up here quickly, please, let's go. Oh, it was a bass. There's a whole bunch, of, that was all bass right there. Alrighty, beautiful fish right here. He's eating on that fry. Beautiful little fish, thank you Jesus. Thanks for playing, alrighty. So now, what I'm gonna do, before I spook all of those fish off like I probably did, is grab something else, probably that Ned rig, and get on over there. And let me tell you, that was a pure reaction bite. Because I had no idea I hooked him until it was a tight line. And I guess a little announcement. I don't know what you what I'm really going to call this. But hunting season is coming up here in a couple weeks. So I will be going out. And hopefully getting a deer for you guys. And hopefully this year I'll do better with the camera work i'll try to uh record before i shoot the deer okay i was just so wrapped up in everything that i never once thought about the camera until afterwards but this year i kind of want to get the deer as it's coming in yeah you you guys will just have to see it and i will tell you guys right now that uh you see these size of fish i catch here in this pond yeah that's like the size of, of deer that are at the woods that i hunt not like maybe one or two big ones maybe but most of the most of the time they're little bitty fellers does little bucks but you know nothing too crazy but like I've always been taught and learned and how I live, how I hunt, those antlers don't taste real good. They sure do look good on the wall, but you can't eat them, but you can get a fish like this. Come up here. Whew, let's go. Let's go. I know, I just put you through the ringer. I tell you what, I love taking fish pics. Ah, little bitty feller little big guy I got a little feller all righty thank you jesus and thanks for playing well there we go we got the old ned rig knocked out finally that was longer than expected hopefully i can do this without scaring any fish off.
Yep. Yep. You guys, see that? How aggressive that fish was? My golly. Good night. Come here. Good golly almighty. That guy's aggressive. Holy smokes. You launched out of the water for that one, buddy. There we go. Another one. Another one. Pretty long. About the same size. Skinny. But he was really wanting that. He really thought that was a a uh, bait fish over there. But beautiful fish. Thank you, Jesus. And thanks for playing. So there we go. Got everything but the spinner bait. Which I would say this is challenge complete. It is 438. So, yeah, my guess is challenge complete. Even though I didn't get one on this spinner bait, I really doubt I'm going to, unless I get another reaction strike like I did over here. I'm gonna have to keep this spot in mind during the fall. So Alrighty, well. Four fish on the bank and one that I was playing around with is, is an amazing day. I haven't had this good of a day in a long time. Um, so if you guys like this kind of stuff, it's going to be tough fishing, but I'm going to try to keep on putting out fishing videos for you guys. I know it doesn't get much love in the fall and winter time because who else fishes in fall and winter besides people in Florida? and crazy people from southern illinois like me honestly I, I had a lot of fun making this video it was just me going out fishing so if you guys like that stuff be sure to comment down below um if you guys uh have seen some previous videos you guys know that i've done a giveaway be sure to look at that video see if you guys are a winner and if you didn't win don't unsubscribe because we're still trying to hit a thousand subscribers for the end of the year so i can give away two juggernaut boxes two casting rods and one spinning combo to three lucky winners and if we don't hit that goal still do not unsubscribe because next year is going to be bigger and better and a higher chance to win also at the end of november there will be a giveaway winner for jamie and custom baits and tackle $50 gift card so all you have to do to be entered to that because that's still going on is use my code tyler10 at checkout which the link and the code will be in the description use my code at checkout and it, it will save you 10 percent and uh you'll be entered to win a $50 gift card to his website so with all that being said thank you guys so much for tuning in i had so much fun today uh be sure to be subscribed if you need to take the verse today with you and i'll catch you guys on the water peace